another video. This is gonna be a quick tip video. I'm gonna show you guys how to get the shiniest mold ever. Um, it's a combination of products that I actually get, I think, from a subscriber or somebody on Instagram or a subscriber told me to go to Instagram. I don't remember, but I have both of the products at home because I use them both and I used to use exclusively just the Paul Mitchell Foaming Pomade, which is one of them. And when I did it and my mold came out this shiny, I was like, I'm gonna do a video and show you guys how to do it. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I just wanted to come on before and show you my hair. Cause you can see how it doesn't necessarily look super shiny. You know, it looks pretty bland. I washed it, conditioned it, and put a little leave-in in it and literally I just let it air dry. So you can see it's just, you know, dry and crusty looking. It's really not, but it looks like this because I haven't done anything to it. So I will be back when it's wet to show you guys this formula that I've come up with that really helps to create maximum shine. All right, back and my hair is wet. So this is the formula. And actually somebody in the comments like mentioned it or told me about somebody and I went to their page and saw this. But I've used both these products before, just not necessarily together. So this is the Paul Mitchell Foaming Pomade. I'll put a picture so you guys can see. And then of course my um, Nairobi that I always use. So the trick to this is to get the ratio just right. And I shake the Paul Mitchell because it can get a little like tacky. And it's very heavy and it can be super greasy. I used to use this only to style my hair, to wrap my hair, but I wouldn't suggest that now. So this is how, I'm gonna try to pour it so you guys can see how much I'm using. So. About that much, maybe a little more. Okay, about this much of the Paul Mitchell. And then the Nairobi. this much now what you do is you want to mix this up because it's in the palm of my hand this is how I do it I take my finger stick it all the way down so that it's touching where the Paul Mitchell was and I just mix it like that so that I make sure it gets all blended in there and then I just apply like normal take my wide tooth comb comb my hair in the direction I want it to go and wrap it as usual I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the wrap. It's not anything special, but since I'm showing you this wrapping foam, I might as well. combo and I just like take off the excess like that so I'm doing taking my finger and just running it across the hair same in the back yep now I'm going to put my junior rapid strips on sit under the dryer for 30 minutes and I will come back and show you guys how like amazingly shiny my wrap is so i'll be back okay guys i'm back dressed my hair is dry and if you look i have not put anything on my hair no coconut oil no argan oil no olive oil no glosser nothing this is literally just from the products that i used to wrap it so imagine when I comb it out, put some olive, uh, coconut oil on it and then actually put heat to it. It's like amazing. So I will come back and curl it in a separate video and style it and then I will show you guys and I'll let you know that it's from this particular wrap. But I just wanted to give you guys this quick tip so that you could 
use it for yourself at home if you needed more shine or if you want your wraps to be worn flat and you absolutely want them to be shiny when you do that so this helps okay guys that was it i hope you liked it i hope this tip helps some of you guys if it does leave comments below if you try this combo let me know how it turns out for you guys let other people know down in the comment section as well as always thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and until next time bye